Union Avenue and Capitol Way, downtown Olympia, Washington. The Subway Sandwich Shop. Marconi is sitting down with Raina having lunch, eating a sandwich. A white man wearing sunglasses and a black derby hat carrying a skateboard enters the store and walks up to the counter. Marconi observes the man as he studies the menu. The man puts his foot into the large garbage container next to the counter and compresses the contents in the can. Marconi watches as the man sits down to eat his lunch. Marconi whispers to Raina, and they both observe the man. Raina, there's something strange about that guy. Michael, are you sure you're not being a little paranoid because of what happened to you yesterday? I got a bad feeling, Raina, about that guy. Michael, you need to relax and just eat your lunch. The man wearing the sunglasses finishes his meal and walks over to the counter and picks up a newspaper. As he walks past Marconi and Raina, he stares back at them. Raina, I'm telling you, there's something about to go down. Michael, how can you be so sure? Well, for one thing, Raina, he just changed seats and he's now sitting by the front window. I think he's a spotter. The man glances up from his newspaper and stares again at Marconi and Raina. That guy's got to be wearing a wire. He's listening to our conversations, Raina. What do we do, Michael? Well, Raina, as soon as we get outside, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Okay, Michael. Raina and Marconi finish their meal and exit the subway shop. Now on the corner of Union Avenue and Capitol Way, Marconi and Raina walk across the street to where her car is parked. Raina and Marconi both get into the car. Raina starts the engine and gets ready to pull away. Marconi motions with his right hand to wait. Marconi looks out the car window to see if it is safe to leave. Marconi sees a stranger with sunglasses and derby exiting the subway shop. The man, the spotter with the derby, signals men riding on bicycles. The stranger then gets on a skateboard and speeds away. The two men on bicycles wearing helmets look into Raina's car. Marconi opens the car door and jumps out of the car holding a large container of water. Raina, don't ask any questions. Just do what I say. I want you to drive to the corner and make a U-turn and meet me in the parking lot of a real estate building on 9th Street. Okay, Michael, I'll do it, but be careful. Marconi closes the car door and waits until Raina pulls away from the curb before walking away. Raina starts her engine and pulls away from the curb and makes a U-turn. As she waits at the traffic light to turn left onto Capitol Way, a red truck darts in front of her as she prepares to turn. Raina hits her brakes to avoid the collision. A bicyclist looks into Raina's car before speeding away. The bicyclist turns the corner and heads towards 9th Street. Marconi sees him and steps into the crosswalk. The bicyclist slams on his brakes to avoid hitting Marconi. Marconi throws the container of water all over the cyclist. The bicyclist makes a U-turn and quickly speeds away. Just a couple of minutes later, at the real estate office parking lot on 9th Street, Marconi walks over to Raina, who is standing next to her car. Raina is visibly shaken by her near-fatal experience. Michael, somebody just tried to slam into my car. Marconi puts his arms around Raina and holds her tightly. Marconi takes his hand and touches Raina's face as he stares into her eyes. Marconi now kisses Raina on her forehead.